Hello, welcome to Fire Power Threat Defense training video series. I am Nanda. In this video, we are going to see how to use a flex configuration on Fire Power Management Center. Flex configuration is used to manage the policy that are not natively supported by the Fire Power Management Center. In this video, I'm going to talk about the framework of Fire Power Management Center and then in the subsequent videos, we will see some of the examples to configure uh, some of the policies using flex configuration. As I said, um, the flex configuration and support features are all the features that are natively supported by the FMC uh, like access control policy or uh, uh, VPN. Uh, those features cannot be configured through flex configuration. The supported features with flex config are ERGRP, um, ISIS, PBR, um, inspect policy map, all these features which are not natively supported by Firepower Management Center. For the full list of features, please refer Firepower Management Configuration Guide. The process of using uh, flex config is First, you need to have uh, various variables. Uh, the variables could be uh, text objects or it could be a network object or it could be a system variables that are predefined uh, on the FMC. These variables you can refer it or use it on the flex configuration object where you defi define uh, multiple CLIs to configure. Example, if you want to configure ERGRP, you, you need to have a multiple uh, CLIs uh, that needs to be pushed to the Fire Power Thread Defense in which variables such as network or interface can be called from uh, the network uh, flex variables. And once you define a flex configuration, uh, flex configuration object that you can refer that on the flex configuration policy. And once you define the flex configuration policy where it can have multiple flex config objects such as it can have a um, uh, inspect uh, flex configuration object and it can have an ehrp um, uh, uh, object and it can have a um, pbr put together as a single flex configuration policy and then you can assign it to a device a one or two device and then push the configuration during deploy it, it these clis will be pushed to the firepower threat defense so some of the, before we go into the demo some of the key things that you have to note is during deploy you have uh, two options one is append and prepend what that means is a particular set of uh, flex configuration object those generated cli you wanted to push before fmc policy or after fmc policy so example if you have used fmc to configure nat policy or access control policy those would generate a CLI configuration during deploy. So those will be handled at the bucket of FMC policy CLI. And using flex config, you have configured, say for example, uh, PBR. Those C CLIs, you need to either want to push before the CSM policy or after the mm, FMC policy that has gen uh, FMC policy that is generated. So that can be controlled by a type. And on the deployment, you have two options. One is once or every time. If you set as only once, so it only push those configuration at least only once during the ent entire uh, life cycle of a product. Or if you set every time, so every deployment will have those CLIs push to the five power thread defense. So let's walk through the sum of the components of the flex configuration with this uh, fiber management center so first you can go to object on object manager where you can find uh, flex configuration objects such as you, as you can see here um, text object and then uh, and flex configuration object in the text object you can def define a uh, variable with values uh, the values can be either single or multiple say for example I want to 
uh, use a variable for a gateway in pol um, policy based route I can define a gateway here with a variable name gateway and then set it as single I can define an IP address uh, here which I can use it on flex configuration object and um, as well it also supports multiple um, values say for example I need to insert a variable uh, say inspect protocol and then I need multiple entries uh, so I can have more than one entry um, So I can de define a define a variable which can have a multiple uh, values within the uh, variables. It, it is possible with this uh, text variable. Apart from that, uh, the FMC also has predefined uh, variables which are used in the flex configuration predefined the flex configuration object, which you can use it and then modify. Example. Uh, the inspect protocol we already have a uh, default uh, disable inspect protocol which has a list of protocols that are used in uh, um, inspect policy map if you want you can uh, change the values and then use it in the flex config object uh, on the flex config object we have predefined the flex configuration value uh, objects which you can use it ready made example uh, say for example if you want to configure eigrp uh, you can use this uh, uh, pre-template uh, which you can use it and then uh, configure eigrp on your fiber thread defense all you have to do is go to those respective uh, variables in the text object and then change the values according to your needs or you can simply copy uh, no, uh, copy paste this to a different a flex config object and then change according to your needs and then push the configuration so as you could see that deployment you have two options one is once and every time which means that if if you set it as once um, this particular flex config object will be sent to the device only once if you set it as every time doing every deploy this uh, CLIs will be sent to, to the device every single deployment and uh, append and prepend as we said as we said if you set it as an append this configuration goes after the CLIs that are generated by fiber management center native uh, policies if you prepend it those CLIs flex configuration CLIs will be sent before the policies that are natively supported by the fiber management center and apart from that you have these insert variables uh, using insert variables you can use the text object value which are defined here or use the network um, objects that are available under object manager uh, examples that you can use a network um, values in the uh, PBR or use uh, ACLs in the policy uh, uh, policy based routing or use route map again in the uh, PBR you can also use system variables such as uh, uh, you you can check with the system variable with the system variable whether it's a sing uh, fire uh, routed or transparent or in multi single or multi you can extract values uh, management IP address values you can extract host information um, using this system variables apart from that you can also have a secret key uh, in order to um, have a variable which has a password for um, routing protocols and you have this validation checkbox if you uh, in order to check this uh, how the script is whether it has a proper syntax you can use this validation to check the uh, correctness of your scripts once you define the flex config here uh, you can go to device and the device we have a flex configuration where you can define a flex config policy uh, I can define a name here assign one or more devices to the flex config and use the 
flex config object that you have configured under object manager and then uh, save the configuration and you can deploy uh, this will generate a CLI and then push to the device before deploying it you can refer uh, refer those CLIs uh, using a preview configuration which is going to generate the CLIs that is going to be pushed to the device so we strongly recommend to use preview configuration in order to verify the what CLI is generated by the flex config which will be pushed to the fi uh, FiPower3 defense so you could see that uh, what are the uh, uh, flex config object that we have created is pushing this uh, CLI so the flex config append um, what are the flex object that are say, uh, marked as append will be sent here um, these CLIs are generated by the FiPower Management Center native configuration uh, flex configuration objects which have marked as prepend uh, will go in this particular section with this we have come to the end of this video uh, check my second uh, part 2 video where I am going to give an example of how to configure inspect policy map uh, with flex configuration thank you